Hi guys, it's Emery. <laughs> In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my night routine, or is it unget ready with me, or is it night routine? I'm never 100% sure. I'm calling it a night routine. So hopefully I can inspire you to maybe revamp your night routine, make you feel great, because you are enough. Let's just let's just get into the video. It's Sunday night, everything's pretty chill. We're driving home, just spending time with family and stuff. So the first thing I do is either uh, work out. Sometimes I will work out on in the evening or at night versus the morning, depending on what my day is like. Don't need to do that tonight, but I do need to stretch. One of my goals this year is to be able to do the splits. And so I'm trying to stretch every day to just get more flexible. One thing I do during pretty much my whole night routine, except for when I'm like in the shower, is I will listen to a book because even though I totally love listening to music, it seems like it takes me like twice as long to get ready because I'm just one of those people that even if I have like a set playlist, I will just keep skipping through songs. It's just, it's just me and so I'll just, instead of listening to music, I listen to a book right now. I am listening to, it's this mystery series that's dessert themed. It's kind of like Hallmark movies and mysteries, except in book form. This one's called English Trifle. I am like a Hallmark girl through and through so when I found out about this series and or how much it was like to Hallmark movies and mysteries I was all for it and there's like 12 books so. Okay next I need to prep to shower and I wash my hair once a week. Yep just one time. Dry shampoo is an amazing thing but normally I do it either Saturday or Sunday sometime there and so since today's Sunday and I didn't wash it yesterday Today's hair washing day. So first I gotta get my hair out of this messy bun. And then I'm going to brush it out. This is my bath pack brush. I love it. I love it better than any other brush that I've tried, including the wet brush. I did a full review on it if you would like to check it out. I will link it in the iCard. And then hop in the shower real quick. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is I like to remove my makeup before I get in the shower. Just so I don't like have to scrub it off. Because like, the face wash I use in the shower is not meant to remove makeup, but just meant clean your skin. So I like to take this mixture of castor oil and olive oil and remove my eye makeup with it. I normally like to use a q-tip with the oil but I'm out so I'm just making do with what I have. So I'll use the oil to get off the eye makeup and then I will use this charcoal micellar water um, with a cotton pad as well and just get the rest of my makeup off and then I will jump in the shower. Okay, okay, so if I'm planning on working out in the morning, it really depends on like my schedule and if I think I'll be able to work out at night because I really do prefer to work out at night. But if I know I do not have time in the evenings, I will work out in the morning. And if I'm planning on to work out in the morning, I like to wear my workout close to bed. So yes, I am standing on my bed because uh, it's the only way I can do like a full length mirror shot. Um, but I just got these new workout leggings and I love them. Then I just have a gray t-shirt on. It's a super girl. Uh, but even though I'm not actually showing you the process, I want to tell you all the products I use in the shower. So first we've got shampoo and conditioner. Or I use the Pantene Pro V Blend Charcoal Shampoo and Conditioner. I love this stuff. I love it so much. I think it's my favorite drugstore shampoo and conditioner I've ever tried. And I've tried like a ton. Um, and I actually do conditioner first because I also go in with like a hair mask later. And so I, I don't want my hair to be super weighed down. So I'll go in with conditioner. I'll mostly just focus on like my chin down and not so much on my scalp because I'm going to be using a hair mask. And then I will go in with the shampoo. But I also I keep some baking soda in a Tupperware in the bathroom. I'm all It's all gone and we're like out, which makes me really sad. But Normally there'd be baking soda in this container. <laughs> And I just pour like equal amounts of baking soda into my shampoo because I have a really dry scalp Especially during the winter and I thought I had dandruff I really thought I did and then I watched this video Which I will link in the description box all about the difference between dandruff and a dry scalp and how dry scalp is like I don't know 80% or something. I don't remember the exact number confused with dandruff So if you haven't like officially been like diagnosed by like your, I don't know who, by like a cosmetologist or I don't know who does that. Or your dermatologist or whoever does that. I don't know who does that. I would watch that video because you might just have dry scalp. And by using a exfoliator with your shampoo or after shampoo, at least for me, it like completely gets rid of it. I have no little wet flakes at all as long as I keep up with it. So I only do it once a week. I know you can also buy like hair exfoliators, scalp exfoliators. I also really love it because it keeps my hair 
cleaner a lot longer. It gives it a more deep clean. Kind of like how you exfoliate your face once a week or a couple times a week. And it makes it so my hair doesn't get as dirty as fast because I only wash it once a week. So I really love that and I highly recommend going to watch that video after you're done with this one. Okay, and then after that I will go in with a hair mask. This, which one is this one? The L'Oreal Almond and Protein Hair Mask. I think this is my favorite hair mask I've tried from the drugstore. It's really hard to read. Sorry. Just because it's like halfway gone. I haven't tried a ton though. So, but out of all the ones I've tried, I think this one's my favorite. And then, remember how I mentioned the bath pack hairbrush earlier? Well, before I got that hairbrush, I used a wet brush and I loved it. I like the bath pack more now, but I didn't want to get rid of my hair wet brush. And I had heard about like a little hack where you brush your, your hair mask in the shower and then let it sit. That it would make a big difference. And oh my goodness, it makes the biggest difference ever. My hair is so soft. So I'll apply the hair mask. I'll first apply like 80 or 90% of it to my ends well my ends the part like below my chin and then I'll apply, apply like the 10 or 20 percent to my scalp just because I like I said I have a drier scalp um then I'll brush through it and then I'll pile it all on top of my head so I can let it sit and then while it sits I will exfoliate um this is the scrub em and leave em body buff by slope and glory I love this stuff and I wash my body with the beauty implant argan oil and lavender body wash I tried the shampoo one time and I loved the smell of it it like overtook the shower with how with lavender and it was like so relaxing so I wanted to try this this was not as quite as overpowering um and then to wash my face I will use this is like basically all gone the Biore baking soda pore cleanser so this is really great for combination skin because it uses baking soda as the exfoliator so it's super gentle but it still like helps get in those pores but that's basically it for the shower and then before I got dressed I applied where is it the Savino daily moisture I like it a lot it's just simple cheap okay continuing so right now depending on what time it is how much later I want to stay up like if it's past midnight and I just got out of the shower normally I will dry my hair or like if it's like 10 or 11 o'clock and I just got out of the shower normally I'll let it air dry um so I'll just take this stuff this is the Garnier smooth air dry anti-frizz cream I love this stuff I will apply it mm, the same way I apply my hair mask where like 80 or 90 percent of it goes on part of my hair that's not touching my scalp and then the rest goes up top um but it is kind of late and I want to show you my blow dryer routine like I said I don't blow dry my hair every single time I wash it just depends on what's going on the night and the next day and if I need not a lot of volume the next day because man I got a volume routine that is amazing since I am going to blow dry my hair I'm going to stick in the Joico APAC hair <laughs> I can't say this color therapy Lester Lock multi perfector shine spray and I shake it up really good and I apply that all over and then I'll take my bath pack brush again and kind of distribute the product get at any tangles because if I have tangles in my hair while my like air drying or anything like that my hair will be a mess when it dries okay and even if I blow dry my hair I like to let my hair dry at least 50% if I can really manage that sometimes it's like 1 in the morning and I'm too tired and I just gotta do it but try to let it dry somewhat so whether I'm letting it air dry or going to blow dry at this point I will take a t-shirt this is actually a smaller t-shirt than I normally use normally I use a men's large this one's a men's medium I can't find my men's large one this is one of my brother's old t-shirts and I will use it as a hair turban because uh, there's so many reasons why you shouldn't use a towel as a hair turban. Uh, two main ones is one, it will make you bald, give you like a receding hairline. Two, unless it's like a silk towel, <laughs> it will give you frizzy hair. So since this is 100% cotton, 100% cotton, yep, uh, the cotton will make your hair not as frizzy and a lot softer. So I just put it on like a normal t-shirt bring my hair through, flip over, pull the neck hole up to my hairline. I always miss hair. Like so. And then I'll twist it just like normal hair turban. See, I kind of have like ends sticking out if I don't use a large. So I like to use large, but that'll work. And flip it over. And then just to make sure it stays and I don't have to like constantly grab onto it, I'll just take an alligator clip, clip the back of it, if I'm using the large t-shirt, I'll normally take two and like crisscross them kind of, have them go in opposite directions. That way it's really secure. And then I will do the rest of my skincare routine while I wait for my hair to dry. Okay, so at this point, I'll either do two things. I'll either do a face mask, and my face feels like it needs it. There are two that I really like. 
This one's the L'Oreal Pure Clay Detox Max. If my like skin is like extra clogged or whatever, I use this. My skin feels extra dry. I will use the Spa Scriptions. I think is how you say it. Rose Mask. I like all their masks. This the they came in like a kit of three different ones. I like them all about the same. If my face feels really dry, I'll use this one. But my face feels pretty okay. So next is serum. This is a Physicians Formula Rose All Day Oil Free Serum. The serum's pretty thick. Most of the time I just kind of scrape it off the little. I like to press things into my skin rather than rub because I think it does a better job. And it also like, you know, prevents wrinkles and stuff. On days that I exfoliate my face, like tonight I use that exfoliator, I like to mix my moisturizer with a little bit, uh, something a little bit heavier. So this is my moisturizer. This is the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer. It's oil free, helps treat acne and prevent it in the future. It's not super drying, but if my skin already feels just a little bit parched, I do like to use something a little bit extra with it. So I'll just take the Aquaphor Advanced Therapy for dry, cracked, or irritated skin. You can use it on your face and your lips and all that stuff. So I'll just mix those two. So like I'll take a pump of this, a little squirt of this. This stuff's like really thick. And mix it together. Next, I take more of that oil that I used to remove my makeup before and apply a little bit of that to my eyebrows because I'm trying to get thicker eyebrows and this is helping a little bit. I just started doing it like a week ago, but I've already noticed like a little bit of difference, especially where I got that scar. Seems like it's filling in just a little bit. Okay, and then normally I would just take more of that oil and apply it to my lashes too because I like to condition my lashes to make them longer and stronger and stuff. Um, but a few weeks ago, I picked up this Maybelline Last Sensation serum and I like it because it has like a mascara wand and you can just apply it like mascara instead of with like a q-tip um i haven't noticed the biggest difference in the length of my lashes but definitely they're definitely sturdier than they were so i'm not a hundred percent sold on it but i don't hate it either like i said i just picked it up like two weeks ago then i just brush my teeth and then come back and apply more of this aquaphor stuff onto my lips and then that's it for my skin routine. Now let's move on back to the hair. And once my hair is either dried to the point that I want it to be, or until I get too tired and I just want to blow dry my hair and go to bed, I'll take off my little turban, t-shirt turban, and then I will apply my favorite blow dry products for volume. This is the Sexy Hair Flash Me Heat Protectant. Amazing. Um, it speeds up the blow drying process and protects your hair and all that stuff. And then this is the Guardian Fructis Mega Full Thickening Lotion. And and I'll brush my hair out to get any tangles that developed in the turban and also distribute the product more evenly. And then I will stick in some of this L'Oreal Boost It Volume Inject Mousse. And then I'll take this blow dryer, nothing fancy. This is a Conair blow dryer, going high, flip upside down, blow dry my hair for a minute, and then once it's dry enough that I can kind of run brush a brush through it, I'll flip my hair over again and brush all the hair over one side and then all the hair over the other and then all the hair back and all the hair forward. Basically, I'm trying to create as much as volume as possible. And then I have some pretty intense volume. <laughs> I love. I have very fine flat hair, so whatever I can do to get volume, I will. Well, I don't always heat a ton, but I take advantage of what I can do. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Isn't your hair kind of like frizzy looking and poofy? That's just what happens when I brush my hair and also when I blow dry it. So doing it together doesn't really help, but the frizzy look goes down after like an hour at most, and then it's just voluminous. Okay, uh, at this point, I want to get my hair up out of the way. So I'm just gonna take my hair, flip it to as close to my forehead as possible, so like a ridiculously high ponytail, and do a pineapple bun, as I like to call it. So I just gently, not super duper tight, I don't wanna like get rid of all that volume I just created. I take an alligator clip and the clip ends, and I do this every night, no matter if I have curly or straight, voluminous, flat, whatever hair, it just, holds whatever texture you have in your hair so well and it keeps it out of the way um, and it's super good for your hair because you're not using like a ponytail or whatever you could use a scrunchie too if you want to i just like clip sweater because you can kind of control where it's placed and stuff a little bit better i okay i like to read before i go to sleep this is my rule if it's past 1 a.m i'm not allowed to read if it's past midnight i can read a chapter and if it's before midnight which like never happens 
I can read until like 12.30 or whatever. I'm reading this book right now. It's called The Neverland Inn and it's super cute. One thing I start to do before I go to sleep is do nighttime affirmations. And some people might think they're useless or don't work, but I've noticed my mood being so much more happy and uplifted since I started doing them. So I do them and even if they're just to make me happy and that's all they do, that's, that's all that matters to me. But I think they do more than that. And so I just found a list of nighttime affirmations on Pinterest and I say them right before I go to sleep. Also at this point I like to turn my phone on airplane mode so I don't get any notifications in the middle of the night and I can kind of like turn off my social media part of my brain by night by not getting notifications at all. I set my alarm, turn on white noise because my family is loud and go to sleep. If you want to check out my last makeup review, you can click right here. If you want to check out my last hair tutorial, you can click right here. And if you want to subscribe, you can click right here. I love you guys so much and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye! Mwah.